He's not even doing anything, he's just standing there while the beam's happening. This is a bug's life for the Sega Genesis, and this guy is progressively helping the screen, I guess. Oh my god, what the fuck? Look at my JPEGs. <laughs> Ant Island, Game Center BS Cacho On. I've always wondered what the life of a bug was like after he got compressed onto a 16 bit console. When a terrible movie meets a terrible what a, Genesis Wow, game. so I see where the Bionic Commando rearm jump came from now. You know what? Arguably, some people might say this is better than the PlayStation game. I don't want to know what that argument looks like. <laughs> it's like this just... Think it says nice. What kind of things are you getting debates over? Well, you know, healthcare, universal, like, universal healthcare... The quality of life in my country, or you know, which version of Bugs Life is better, the Genesis or the first person? <laughs> like, I would love to live a simple of enough life to worry about that. Like, that's up there with Aristotle versus Plato in uh, <laughs> the pantheon of important questions humanity's going to ask in a couple years. I, think. I paid no, I paid no attention in school whatsoever. So the thing that bothers most is. What should I get Criticom or should I get Dark Rift today? <laughs> I'm sorry for starting off with fire jokes. I didn't mean it. Anyways, what do we got? Are you collecting lemons or are those supposed to be acorns? They look like pear pips, which means you're definitely playing Arabian Nights. They look like corn puffs. What? Well yeah, kinda. I gotta have my puffs. <laughs> I gotta have my bugs. I gotta have this looks like there's just way too much going on. This is, this is what it's like to fight against somebody who keeps literally doing lows. <laughs> A bug sensory overload. Low block the video game. You literally just cannot stand up, everything's over your head. Well like here's a platform where you literally spend about 70% of the time crouching. Yeah, sounds like, so uh, so does EDI. Almost every bad platformer, really. Except this, this game even has the duck walk. So, do you have to alternate between fire fruits and ice fruits? Yeah, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh... Because, yeah, a little known fact about Link the Faces of Evil, one of the gimmicks is that you throw fire snowballs and ice snowballs at people. Because only certain enemies can be affected by them, if I recall. Yeah. Like, they had ideas, but very few of them are good. If any. I think the only good idea is Zelda herself being a playable character. I wish Nintendo would actually do that. Just minus the whole being a scary sociopath thing. Good. I got him! After seeing, like, this <laughs> fucked up boss design explode. You killed me. Good job. If only that Zelda was available for Hyrule Warriors. I know, right? It's like, you killed 300 people! Awesome! You know, Wii U modding is a thing. I wonder if anybody's modded that in, actually. <laughs> Somebody photoshopped, like, the characters to look like their CDI counterparts. Like... They put lipstick on Link and made his eyes roll to the back of the head. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Why is it? Why is it? I feel like the sound effects came from a fucking basketball game. You know they probably <laughs> yeah, did. Yeah, nice. NBA Jam, maybe. An NBA I mean, player's life. New Bugs this, Adventure Jam. Is yeah. this shut up and Jam Gate in two that we all been wanting? Yeah, this is it. This is what Barkley did after he, after the chaos dunk happened again in space. He got turned into an ant. I like the part where Flick got exiled, so the first thing he did was join the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> and met <laughs> Scooby-Doo. So is this level going to do anything interesting? And then his anthill dies because the Monstars takes all the ants' food harvesting skills. Wow, this Genesis versus PS1 uh, argument sure is riveting. Oh, it is. 
Uh, I mean, oh, you, you see the debate going on in the chat right now? Apple gimmicks the 2D game that makes you want to take pliers to your console. <laughs> Yeah, you played oh, it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Oh yeah, I did. Oh man, you know I've only played five hundred something games. It's kind of hard to keep track. <laughs> that was a really fast enemy. What the fuck? In the end, the only ones that are worth remembering are Batman and Skull Jagger. Wow, this is a very hard to control Yoshi mechanic. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Batman Dark Tomorrow is probably <laughs> probably up. I'm kind of sad I missed it, but on the other hand, I'm okay. The VOD's there. I'll be able to check it out. And check You'll it out, I will. You'll get to hear me nearly crying. So it's almost as good as Sonic Adventure. And uh, to be to, to our Adventure. credit, the only reason Sonic Adventure got you to do that is because I managed to break the game every time I play it. I thought Sonic Adventure was mostly me cowering in a corner whenever it closed up on a character's lip syncing. Well, no, it was you dying whenever I play the levels because I managed to break everything in the game. <laughs> you have to use And I'm not even trying to is the worst part. I'm trying to, like, showcase the game at, at its best. And I keep fucking <laughs> doing And then things. you get caught on an invisible elevator door. Hey, look, you have to get the Angry Birds portion in this game. I don't even remember this being a thing in the movie. They're not dying! They're, they keep respawning! I don't think there's a lot of things here that match up with the movie. I think the only thing that it has in common with the movie is that it sucks. I bet it's okay. They made Toy Story 2 afterwards, so... That game's pretty good. Oh, great. Cool. I'm so glad it despawned. <laughs> cool. Great. I love this mechanic. You know, for a bootleg, it sure does know how to do it. Oh, somebody found a link to that game just in case you still wanted to do it. Oh, okay, they're gone. Nice one. No, he's he's a buddy. Nice Any problem about Sea Man Two is that we don't know what the fucking interface is. It's gonna be really hard to play it. Is it Japanese only? Yeah. Looks like Every it. time Heimlich's head is slightly to the side, I think his face is just- How the fuck do you know his name? Because I've seen this movie, even though I regret doing so. You know, I've yet to see this movie in full. I've seen clips. I haven't yeah, watched the whole thing, though, because I scared Heimlich's myself. Head... What the hell is every that? time Heimlich's head goes aside, I keep thinking his face just suddenly becomes goatsy. Ew. Sounds hot, actually. You have to find a present for Dumbledore again? Because <laughs> that was the last time we got stuck in a level that was 2D. Happy you birthday, I got you your <laughs> death. <laughs> Can you use the thank you throw as bait or something? You're probably supposed to kill him, like. Hey, Fawny. Move your ass. <laughs> you Swedish caterpillar. You know what? Fuck this. I'm not gonna spend my homework. Yeah. 